Hello, theater historians. I am Dionysus, the Greek god of wine and fertility. I can't say fertility without laughing. No, that's not right. Welcome to my video blog on the tragic Greek playwrights of the 5th century. So, tragic playwrights wrote plays to be performed at the Festival of Dionysian. Uh, the festival included parades, it included uh, big phallic statues, it had feasts and performances and raffles. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have ended on raffles. For the festival of me. As a Dionysa was the god of wine and fertility. Which, fun fact, theater is always better when drinking wine. And when you're fertile. The first playwright we will discuss is Aeschylus. <clears throat> Aeschylus lived between 532 and 456 BC. Aeschylus was first well known for reducing the chorus down to only 12 people, which reduced the importance of the chorus, allowing the characters and the actors to be uh, more in the forefront. However, still at this time, we only had two actors playing every part. So they would change masks in and out so that they could play other parts and you could see emotions based on those masks. That's how we get the tragedy masks. Aeschylus's most famous play was Agamemnon, which was about the commander of the Greek army during the Trojan War, who was murdered. As the saying goes, a fitted bedsheet does not a toga make. And now we talk about Sophocles. Sophocles was born in 496 BC and lived to 406 BC. Sophocles brought in a third character into the performance, allowing more interaction more emotion and more character development because of these interactions. They still had to play multiple roles. Women weren't actors at the time and they used masks to distinguish between the different characters. Sophocles, fun fact, also invented scenic design and scene painting. Um, he used flats to paint different landscapes or uh, places on. Um, his most famous tragedy is Oedipus the King, or in Latin, Oedipus Rex, and is regarded to be one of the most perfect, greatest tragedies in theater history. However, it did not win the Festival of Dionysus. Who knows? Maybe they didn't love their mothers as much as Oedipus. Um, I guess, you know, being appreciated in your own time is something a lot of us can, can relate to. Finally, we have Euripides. Euripides was alive between 480 and 406 BC. 18 of his tragedies have still survived. And he created what we know to be drama today. Multiple actors playing fewer characters with more complex themes, interactions, character growth, etc. Euripides was not liked in his time. He wasn't appreciated by anybody, especially the government and the church, because Euripides started writing plays that questioned and challenged the gods, challenged the government, questioned what they knew to be as um, moralistic living um, and my favorite fact about Euripides is he loved women 
and he wrote strong, courageous, smart female characters, like Medea, who, after her husband cheats on her, kills his mistress and then her children. What can you do? Yes. Done. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again.